office up here. I've been sitting up here and working on my book, my new book. It's so exciting. And that's what today's message is about, about manifesting your ideal life. Having this book come out into the world, my next book has been a huge dream of mine and I found a publisher, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna tell you how I did it, but I wanna give you a tour first because it's amazing here in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, and it's nice to have an office outside and be able to work from anywhere. This is a big dream of mine. So I'm gonna help you align with your truth and what resonates for you so you can truly manifest your ideal life. That's what today's about. So get a pen and paper because these tips are definitely important. The very first one that I wanna share with you is to get crystal clear about what you want crystal clear now for me i wanted a book deal and i was crystal clear down to the very exact amount of money that i wanted for the book deal literally i wrote it out and i just held that vision in my mind i held that vision and i held that i wanted the right publisher someone who believed in the message as much as i did now as you know if you've been following on play with the world if you're new to the channel welcome if you've been following then you heard quite a few videos where I was talking about rejection being protection and on our journey to manifesting our ideal life we have to align with our truth and know that when there's a closed door there's something better right around the corner so all I did is focus clearly on what I wanted very focused and I was crystal clearer and then publishers all of a sudden were interested it was so amazing my agent called me and he said you have book you have different publishers interested and it i ended up going with the right publisher that was a perfect fit for me and they gave me the exact amount of money that i had been holding in my mind i was crystal clear and the editor is so in love with the process and so in love with me and that is amazing that's what you want you want to align with the right fit okay so the second step that i really want to share with you and this is the probably the most important is to act and behave as if it is already here literally act like you have received what it is you're working for so I was really getting frustrated to tell you the truth. I didn't have a book deal yet and I was getting frustrated because I was like, I'm almost done. The book is almost done and I still don't have a publisher. And so I decided to really reframe my attention and I focused inward on feeling like I had the book deal. So I called my friend and I said, guess what? I got a book deal. And she goes, really? And I said, no but I had to act as if, I had to say that out loud, as if I had just received it. I had to get myself into a place of feeling what it's gonna feel like when I really have this amazing book deal. And 24 hours later, I had the book deal. It worked that well because all day I was acting and walking around as if I had already sold the book and this dream was already realized. And I was just behaving the way I would because a lot of times we focus on lack and we focus how our goal's not here and, and we feel that and that makes it really hard for your goal to come to you. So instead, act as if it's already here, be happy, know that it's on its way. This is a huge part of manifesting your ideal life and that goal that you're working on will come to you much faster. I started to like dance in my living room before I had the book deal. I was like, I got the book deal and I called my friends and it was me behaving my way to success. That's what you really want to think about doing. Now the third and the final step, this is the most tricky, is to hand your desire over to the universe. This means that you have something you want in your heart of hearts. And sometimes we want it so bad that that is actually what is stopping us from getting what we want. So the night before I got the book deal, I surrendered fully. I said, I can't keep trying to control or hope or wish i need to just allow the universe to take my desire so i held my book deal energetically my big beautiful the book was called me matters oh, books and now it's called the self-love experiment that's the book title self-love experiment and i said take this higher power take this goal i turned it over to my future self my higher power the universe I imagined myself holding it and literally handing it over. Take this, I said. I am done worrying about it. I am done trying to figure out when it's gonna happen. I'm done obsessing. I want you to take it. I want you to control it and just allow it to go where it needs to go. I surrender fully. 
And this is what letting go and handing your desire over to the universe looks like. So can you take that thing you want more than anything in the world and hand it over to your higher power, hand it over to your future self? And as I did this, I went to bed and I woke up the next morning and for the first day in probably six months, I wasn't worried about the book deal. I wasn't thinking I have to have the book deal. And 12 hours later, I got the book deal. That's how it works. You have to align with your truth and know that you're being guided. So I wanna thank you guys for playing with the world. It's absolutely beautiful here in Mexico. And my dream was actually to come to Mexico to finish my book and, and it worked out pretty well. I booked the ticket and I got a book deal seven days before I got on the plane to come to Mexico. So I still behaved my way and acted as if that desire was happening and the universe just caught up. Sometimes we want things and they don't happen when we want or exactly how we want, but we have to keep trusting, keep moving forward and watch how your dreams will really come true. So hope you enjoyed today's tips. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Have a blast playing with the world.